the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 146, Psalms 42 to 50 and 53. God who helps at dawn. Since God is our refuge, power, and help, and His children, we can enjoy unshaken peace, even in the middle of everything else being shaken. First point. The psalmist advises for us to have hope in God at all times. Psalms chapter 42 is the psalm from the descendant of Korah and he confessed that he missed God's temple and because his soul was downcast, he all the more turned to God. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. Psalms 42 and 43 are open sin together. The psalmist told himself to not be worried or downcast and keep his hope in God. Whilst he was away from Jerusalem, he confessed that he missed God's temple and also sang of how much he adored it. The psalmist had spent the day crying from hearing people saying that there was no God, but he pulled himself together and said that he should turn to God, all the more in such cases. The psalmist referred to himself as a deer that searches for a stream and that God is the stream. The psalmist continues to remember God in Psalm 44 and confesses that God has been with Israel through thick and thin. He asks for God's help whilst saying that they did not forget Him and they kept to God's laws. Second point, the psalmist expresses that Jesus, who was to come as Messiah, had the lips anointed with grace. Psalms 45 sings of the Messiah and the King of Kings. The psalmist expresses that the Messiah was like the groom and Israel was like the bride, and the coming of the groom was like a wedding in heaven. The king referred to here was worthy of God's blessing, and thus the psalmist sang of the king's praise and loyalty to him. Psalm 45 can be seen as a song of love and a song of blessing. Among the 150 psalms, Psalms 45 is the only one that has been called a wedding song. The psalmist goes on to proclaim that he would praise and remember God our King. He furthermore sings a song of love which has been expressed like a wedding song. You are the most excellent of men, and your lips have been anointed with grace, since God has blessed you forever. Psalm 45 and the whole sings of the Messiah. The Messiah song about here is the most excellent of men, and has lips anointed with grace. We all wait for the groom Jesus Christ with bated breath. Third point, the psalmist waits for dawn and prays that God will help them at dawn. Psalm 46 was written by the descendants of Korah. It was written when Assyria attacked Jerusalem during the times of King Hezekiah and when the Israelites were victorious. God is within her, she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. 
though earth gives way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roll and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. As the psalmist confesses, we too should confess that God is with us and leads us through the strongest storm and deepest despair. The psalmist has the absolute faith that God is his refuge, shelter, and lock, and that God is incomparably stronger than any of the problems we come across. Therefore, wherever God leads us is the place of safety and shelter. Psalm 46 was written when God delivered the people of Israel from the hands of Assyria by killing 185,000 Assyrian soldiers overnight. The night, the angel of the Lord went out and put to death 185,000 in the Assyrian camp. When the people got up the next morning, there were all the dead bodies. God is our true refuge and shelter. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? First point. The psalmist praises the Lord and says that everyone should clap their hands and sing to God. Psalm 47 was written by the descendant of Korah and it prophesies about the coming of the Messiah. The psalmist praises the one and only ruler God. He claims that God is the only one worthy of ultimate praises. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with the cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome the great king of all the earth. For God is the king of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. The psalmist proclaims that God is not only the God of Israel, but the God of all nations, and that he governs the entire universe. Psalm 47 also writes about the coming of the Messiah. God has ascended amid shouts of joy. The Lord amid the sounding of a trumpet. Fifth point, Asaph tells those who forgot God to remember God. The way God calls the universe is incredible in scope. God calls the place where the sun dawns and the sun set. The mighty one God the Lord speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to where it set. God shines light for those who call him, and he expects his people to stand righteous before him. This is because we are God's precious people. Psalm 50 is called Asab's wisdom poem, and in this poem, he calls those who have forgot God to come back and remember him. Asab states that God judges of all, and especially his people. A person who only memorizes the laws without a heart to worship cannot give God true praise. Only one who has the full heart facing God can offer true worship. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you to pieces with no one to rescue you. Those who sacrifice thank offerings honor me and to the blameless I will show my salvation. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. 
It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person he created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.